This is Dwayne's fourth and final course of the day and the last course of this competition. They're over there lined up at the gate to come in. Mike and Dwayne are going over strategy. When he comes in, he, I will lose sight of him for a minute. I am outside the course. I do not have a vest, therefore I'm not alone on the course. So I might lose him for a minute, but then we'll be right back in the action. And here they go. Now they have 10 minutes to complete the course. The time starts when either the car or the spotter pass the starting gate plane. And it finishes when two tires are out of the finish gate. So he's got some side hill going on there. And then he comes in and he's got to turn into a climb with a little bit of a V-notch right there where Mike is standing. Let's go back over to the car. You see him leaning? If that was on the other side, I'd be having getting a perfect picture of that roof. down the hill as he comes up trying to line up perfectly for that gate now with side handling is very hard for Dwayne for some reason his car always likes to slide downhill we'll see how he makes it through this gate hopefully he will not slide uh, see, he's sliding already. That is just something his car likes to do. Haven't quite figured out why it does that yet. Front two tires are through the cones. Now Mike's got to watch to make sure his back two tires get through without hitting a cone. And there he slid again. Back is through nice and clean. Now he's going to come around and up by us. I'm going to zoom out so you can get the whole picture here. Always try to stay him in the frame, however, out of the way. This is gate two that he's going through now. I keep trying to turn the phone so it matches the car in there straight, but can't see the angles that way. And he did make it through gate number two nice and clean. Excuse me, I need to get front Thank you. Now he's going to go down through. This is bonus gate number three, guys. Try to get you a good angle. Now, as soon as he goes over with his front tires, there is a major drop on the other side. So he's got to get through without pulling too much weight forward. Otherwise, it'll pull him right into the cones. What's the time, Judge? Five minutes, 45 seconds. 
He has five minutes and 35 seconds left. And you see that front end is dropping. And he is down that gate. His next gate is he's got to come up over this. I'm showing you because I'm going to go around and we're not going to be able to see him do it. And he's going to come down on the other side. And here he comes. He's getting lined up to get up and over. And he will be coming down on this side. And when he comes down, he will be off camber. Now this gets off really off camera, guys. I'm backing up a little bit just to be safe. That is a major drop right there. Being off camber coming downhill like that is scary stuff. that tire so he's gonna have to uh, do a front dig or reverse I'm thinking probably yep he reverse just so he can keep get lined up with this gate better to take the one point reverse than the cone and that is it so that was his fourth course of the day the final one of the competition we'll have to wait and see at the award ceremony how he placed today he had some really tough competition out here, so we have no idea where the scores stand at the moment. But don't worry, I'll keep you informed. And as always, you know it. Love you.